a little bit of a story here, but just glancing at it, I can see that my equation is looking like a line. So let's see. A student council group is selling school posters for a fundraiser. They use the function P of X equals 5X minus 220 to determine their profit P of X in dollars for selling X school posters in order to earn a profit of $900. So that's your P of X. How many school posters must they sell? This is basic solve for X, right? There's a story involved, but basically just make sure you understand where to put this. They told us the profit is the P of X part. So really our equation is 900 equals 5X minus 220. If you're nervous about it, you could just throw that right into Desmos, just as written. No change is necessary. If you were bad at algebra, do that. Throw it in Desmos, you're gonna get a vertical line where the answer is, but this isn't so bad, right? So we work our way towards the X. So we're gonna add the 220 first. That's the furthest away from that X, that goes away. And that's gonna be 1120 equals 5X. Then we divide by five, divide by five to cancel out the multiplication. And now I'm gonna to go to the calculator. And so 1120 divided by five is 224. And that's it, right? That's all we have to do. No other work here. They just want another number of posters. That's the value of X. We solve for X and we're done. So uh, yeah, sometimes they dress the algebra up with a little bit of a story, but just plug the number into the right place. The hardest thing about this is knowing the number that they give you isn't the X, right? They know you really love plugging into that X side of things, but it just doesn't always work that way. They're going to instruct us and follow the instruction.